Settle in, folks, as we explore pragmatism, traversing its historical roots to modern-day relevance through engaging tales of evolution and effective societal problem-solving. As the late 19th century dawned, human society underwent a transformative metamorphosis driven by unrelenting industrialization. Imagine, if you will, the roar of machines replacing the once quiet agricultural landscapes and the towns growing into bustling cities overnight. Amidst this period of rapid transformation arose Darwin's On the Origin of Species, a revolutionary biological examination of life, challenging long-standing views of existence and mirroring the uncertainties of this industrial upheaval. This societal and scientific revolution set the stage for a refreshing philosophical reevaluation. Enter pragmatism, a philosophy born in the crucible of these tumultuous times. Distinctly different, pragmatism offered a novel perspective, favoring practical effects as the litmus test for analyzing ideas. Think of the electric streetlights just starting to dot the cities then, a beacon of progress illuminating the nights, transforming lives and exemplifying the core of pragmatism, focus on utility. Pragmatism cleaved a unique path through the chaos of the time. In its wake, it aligned philosophy directly with human growth and technological advancement, offering society a guide bearing actionable outcomes. The effects of this ideological shift did not merely ripple, they roared, leaving a lasting impact on how we perceive and navigate our world even today. Against a backdrop of post-Civil War reconstruction around 1865, America yearned for philosophical clarity. Pragmatism responded, emphasizing functional solutions and aligning with progress. Born during an era brimming with industrial and scientific advancements, it focused on practical application amidst societal evolution. Akin to embracing the advent of rail transport, pragmatism relinquished the horse and buggy philosophy of old, encouraging us instead to board the smoky locomotives of progress. Rather than delve into abstract contemplations, pragmatism asked, does this idea work in reality? It sculpted philosophy into a tool for problem solving and decision making, crafting practical approaches for complex realities. Today, we observe pragmatism's trail, from the assembly lines of factories to wireless networks linking us globally, the philosophy's practical approach pervades our existence. As we glance back at humanity's narrative, we recognize the profound effect of this intellectual dynamo called pragmatism. Its unfurling wave, born from the tumultuous rapids of societal reshaping, transformed our philosophical landscape, illuminating new pathways for intellectual exploration. Be prepared to traverse these paths, taking with you the compass of pragmatism, guiding you towards a practical understanding of our changing world. The key to understanding pragmatism lies in the concept of function, schooled by Charles Sanders Peirce, leading the philosophical cavalry in the 1860s. He formulated the pragmatic maxim, sparking a shift from abstraction to utility. This axiom propagated a new way to comprehend notions through discerning their practical effects, Imagine trying to grasp the gravity of industrialization by soaking in sweat-drenched factories and seeing soot-streaked faces rather than poring over socio-economic trends. Pierce hypothesized autonomy in learning as a creativity catalyst, deploying his maxim as a yardstick to compare educational outcomes. William James, born 1842, emerged as a key influencer, steering pragmatism into psychology's realm and religion's confine. Much like how the advent of railways transformed travel, James's theories transitioned pragmatism to practical applications. Upholding that beliefs are legitimate when practical life consequences ensue, he formed a synergy between cognitive therapy and pragmatism. As a silver lining amidst the storm of persistent change, he promoted psychological resilience through pragmatic beliefs. A staunch proponent of religion, he underlined its cardinal psychological function of granting solace and purpose. His work indeed wove the theoretical into the tapestry of lived experience. It's time for a closer look at these monumental men ushering in change. Amidst our exploration of pragmatism, John Dewey emerges as a pivotal character. Born in 1859, Dewey sculpted a new vision of education, molding it with the firm hands of pragmatism. His groundbreaking principle, learning by doing. 
This principle, married to active learning, rebelled against the staleness of rote memorization, infusing education with the refreshing breeze of practical experience. Imagine a class of children actively participating in their lessons, setting their own vegetable garden, measuring growth, calculating averages, writing about changes they observed, and in the process, learning biology, arithmetic, and literature using real life examples. A far cry from the monotony of penned down lectures and memorization, wouldn't you agree? In 1896, Dewey launched an experiment that challenged the established norms, founding the progressive education principle. His canvas was a new school in Chicago, echoing with the laughter of children engaged in experiential learning. A classroom under Dewey's guidance was not merely an arena of instruction, but a miniature society, a mirror to the democratic ideals of participation, discussion, and mutual respect. However, Dewey's ambitions were not confined within the four walls of the school. He aimed to shape society itself. By merging educational principles with democratic ideology, he intended for the school to serve as a microcosm of a democratic society, grooming active citizens ready for societal reform. In grasping pragmatism, we redefine the compass of philosophical navigation. A philosophy espousing functionalism, pragmatism, triumphs ideas based on their potential for practical application and effective results. It's like analyzing the value of democracy, not by high-minded ideals, but how it affects governance and societal well-being. This theoretical tradition evolved from the fertile ground of late 19th century America and was fortified by luminaries such as Pierce and James. Why stop at understanding when you can transform? Enter the fascinating ethical dimension of pragmatism. Just like refocusing a lens, pragmatism shifts ethical issues into practical resolutions. Consider climate policies. An effective one is not just filled with noble intentions, but measured by tangible impact. Is our planet healthier? Such is the powerhouse of pragmatism. It thrives on outcomes, teetering the fulcrum of ethical decision-making towards results-oriented ethics. Pragmatism is not just a static tool from the past. It's a dynamic lens to negotiate contemporary quandaries. Remember, an idea to a pragmatist is as strong as its application. So as we delve deeper into pragmatism, let's ponder. What actions are we empowering with our ideas? The ideal pragmatist's powerful arsenal is their ability to transform theory into practice. Consider how an architect designs blueprints. They imagine the grandeur, yes, but the successful ones are the pragmatists who also account for gravity and material strength in their designs. Likewise, pragmatism sculpted influential changes in diverse domains. Legal realism, for instance, adopted pragmatism's emphasis on the practical giving priority to the real-world impact of judicial decisions over theoretical legal doctrines. However, the reach of pragmatism isn't confined only to the courtroom. It also revolutionized the sphere of education through experiential learning. As Dewey introduced, classrooms flourished with hands-on activities, classrooms resonated with sounds of heated discussions, and rote memorization took a back seat. This echo of pragmatism shook the conventional system, infusing curiosity-driven real-world learning into classrooms. Now let's heighten our perspective. Imagine viewing the Earth from space, dwarfed by our colossal universe. You'd see the myriad challenges faced globally. A pragmatist, however, isn't discouraged by these. They draw their power from their emphasis on practical outcomes. Whether it's tackling the climate crisis or fostering critical thinking, Pragmatism urges us to prioritize the actual impact of our actions. In the next steps of our journey, we delve deeper into how pragmatism continues to wield its influence in modern times. Pragmatism shines a spotlight on the value of ideas. It earmarks them as worthwhile not for their abstract purity, but for their tangible, practical consequences. Let's turn the pages back to the flurry of the late 19th century. Statuary among the intellectual giants of that time was Charles Pierce. With a keen focus on purpose, he argued that meaning was intrinsically tied to an idea's prospective consequences. Amidst the churning societal changes coupled with rapid scientific advancements, Pierce's philosophy echoed the era's spirit, cleaving its way into the folds of pragmatism. The philosophy did not stop its intellectual stride with Pierce. It found sustained momentum in William James and John Dewey. 
James took pragmatism under his academic wing, applying it to realms of psychology and religion. A vivid comparison would be the emergence of railways during his time, not only revolutionizing transit, but also impacting society comprehensively, much like James's pragmatic theories. Dewey brought pragmatism alive in education with his distinctive principle of learning through doing. Imagine a room full of children actively engaging in lessons, the hum of discussions, and the clatter of activities replacing monotonous lectures. That is Dewey's vision, purely pragmatic. Pragmatism has larger societal implications as well. For instance, tackling environmental sustainability demands pragmatic thinking. The focus is on tangible results rather than lofty rhetoric. Think of a pragmatic climate policy. It holds firm only when practical results are evident. Our planet must be healthier, our forests denser, our air cleaner. So let us venture forth in our exploration and deepen our comprehension of this practical result-oriented philosophy called pragmatism.